Hello, very good evening. In today's lecture, we will learn how you can download the latest version of Maya, Maya 2022, free of cost from the Autodesk website as a student user. So if you are a student, if you are just new to Maya, learning Maya, you can download Maya free of cost from the Maya's website. And this is the latest 2022 version that you can download. My name is Dr. Dishan Bradley. If you're here for the first time, and I'm sure you are, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit that bell icon again, so you can support this channel, help me and grow. Let's begin. Now, all you need to do is search here, download Autodesk Maya, okay? As soon as you write download Autodesk Maya, no need to write anything else. You will be presented to Autodesk.com website and you will see Maya 2022 download link available. Just simply click on that. As soon as you click on it, a web page will load asking you that you can download the free trial version of Maya for 30 days. You can download it, use it without any issues. So what you need to do is just click on the download free trial version. As soon as you click on it, this is what it will ask few questions. I will be using the software as a business user or a student. Now, this is important. If you want to use the software free of cost for a longer period, do make sure you are a student user. But if you are a corporate organization, a firm, a production studio who will be using Maya for commercial purpose, then you need to purchase the official license, obviously. All right. So for a student or a teacher, you can use this version uh, as a student version. Now, Maya tells you that it's, there's a good news. You can use this for a free education access which is for, I believe, for a two years. So for a two years, you can use it free of cost. However, you need to ensure that you are a verified educational access is available. So once you click on OK, go to educational community. This will take you to the page where you can download uh, your software after verification of your educational institute. So once you are here, you will find that it says unlock the educational access uh, by getting started from here. At the bottom, you can see other softwares that you can use from Autodesk website, all the cool features. All have this get started link, which I should think, believe will take you to the same page because you need to verify your credentials. So what you do is you specify your country name. For example, in my case, my country name, my education rule as an educator and my institute type as a university or post-secondary institute. This can be anything. You can be a student. Uh, make sure you're a student. If you are a student, again, you need to specify your uh, institute name or institute type, so whether you're in a high school or a university. Okay. So in my case, I've specified as this as an educator, and I will go into my university pro, uh, post-secondary, uh, whatever option is available. Then it asks me for my credentials and information. Let me fill that in. So for example, I give my details and my email address. Okay. So as soon as I give my email address, it says that this email address is already registered. All you need to do is sign in. So what you need to do is you need to give your university email address or your educational email address, confirm the username and password, and you will need to create that account and your account will be created. In my case, my account is already created. So I will be logging in with my official email address. Click on sign in. And once I do that, it asks me my verification. So let me give my password. Okay. So once it's done, it asks me that you need to protect it. Uh, within your 3D key. So for now, uh, let me just click on this. Okay, so my verification is complete. Now I just need to go into con loading, continue, and and my I've logged in. Once I have logged in, now I can go into my option. Your opinion is important. I will just say no thanks. Let's get started. And it will ask me for my university confirmation. So I just specify my university name, hit confirm, and here it is. So my university name is already in their list. So make sure your institute is in their list. Just click on that. And once it is there, just click on confirm. So what this should do is it should, it will confirm your um, institutional uh, record. So, so what now you will get is that uh, it requires additional documents to verify that you are a part of that particular university. So in this case, it says that uh, you have 14 days to upload either your mark sheet or your transcript or your any confirmation that you are a part of that student. So any record indicating that you are a university employee or university student or your school institute or whatever uh, organization you belong to. Okay. So in my case, I have the, for example, my university or school ID, I can browse and upload that. Once I do and submit, it will authenticate that my, I am a verified student account. Once I'm doing, I done that, then I will be able to download the software free of cost. So again, it's important you specify it as a student. And then once you come here, you will be required to give an additional documents 
to verify that you are a, a genuine user uh, belonging to a particular university or not. Okay, so once you have uploaded your document, click on upload and then you will be presented that, okay, thank you for providing your documents. So let's just close this. And now I come back to my account now. Okay, so once you are back on your account, you can again say we still need to confirm your eligibility for education access of this document. Okay, so learn more or click get started. So if I click get started here, uh, this process is already complete, identified power and now it will verify my um, educational records and it will get back to me in 48 hours. Okay, once my records are verified, then it will send me an email and I need to wait for that email for my account to be confirmed. So wait for some time and you will get an email as soon as your records are verified. Now, um, after 20 to 30 minutes, I got the email, okay? So uh, it says 48 hours, but I got the email within half an hour. So as I was recording and I was doing the editing, I got the email already. So let me go and show you that email. Here it is. So uh, once you verify your record, you should be getting this email uh, to your email inbox. I got it within half an hour for whatever good purpose. So do ensure that you verify your educational records. You will get a congratulation. You have an educational access email. And now this email is verified enough. Now what I can do is I can simply log in uh, using this email. I can log in and download my account. So once I click on get product and let's see, it brings me back into my web page. Um, I'm assuming I will require to sign in again. So I will click on sign in. And voila, now this doesn't say get started. Once you log in and voila. So once you log in, you will be now presented your educational access to Autodesk is valid throughout May 28, 2022. So I have a license up till 2022 and I can use it. So that's a perfect thing means I get a one year license and I can now use any of these products at least for one year for free. So this is how you need to verify your accounts and be patient with it. It takes some time for me, just half an hour. I had to wait for an email, but now I got an email. So our task was to download Autodesk Maya. How we do that? Let's come back and scroll, scroll, scroll and go into Maya download and let's get into get product. And now you can see this option is here. Remember previously it was get started. As soon as you log in with your educational account, it says get product. So the content automatically changes. And now it asks me, you want Maya for Windows 2022 edition. I can go back for an older edition as well. So I have an option to download 2020, 2019 or 2018 versions. For our sake, I will still be using 2022 English versions. I will still like to click on this arrow to see what options I have available. I will click on the download option and you will now be able to see that it asks me that what I want to do. So I come here and click on save. And this will give me my option to download and my download has started. Okay. And I should get an email thanking me from Autodesk already. So that's, that's one thing to do. So this is how basically simply you can download Autodesk Maya free of cost and you will get a license key in your email. So I will not show you that, but if you check, you will get a license information in your email as well. So it's ensure you give your email, you verify your records, and then you can download your Maya free of cost and use it up till uh, 2020 depending on when you log in and how long it gives you for me it has given me one year so i have a license up till next year 2022 as an educational or as a student free license remember this doesn't mean that i can use this product for commercial purpose so we are uh, uh, stick through our uh, the license agreement so for a, as a, as an educationist as a learning purpose we can use it free of cost for whole one year that's fantastic right if you're here till the end thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe this channel 75 percent of my users are not my subscribers and i need that support from you guys so if you like this video and you want to see more videos on maya 2022 put your comments down below what do you want to learn what do you want need to do and i will be posting more maya videos now on but i need your support don't forget to subscribe this channel let me know that you like my videos and i will be posting uh, more videos related to Maya and all the topics that you want to learn. Just leave the comments and I hopefully we'll be working on that. This is Dr. Shan Bradley signing off.